Good evening. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. It's completely free. If you're watching live, you can chat in the chat if you're subscribed. Um, we're going to have lots of fun tonight. It's Thursday Night Live. Hey, everybody. Uh, I got to mute my video. Um, it's Thursday Night Live, so we do this every Thursday night. I almost said Saturday night. Every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, so that's 7 Central, 6 Mountain, and 5 Pacific. Um, so welcome. We are also live in my Facebook, Facebook group, Cricut Design Space, where you learn everything about Cricut or Design Space or projects. Anything you want to ask about Cricut, you can do that. We are also live in my Facebook book group Cricut Joy Machines and Projects and on my personal Facebook page. So welcome all. I should be able to see all your chat. I can't yet. I don't know why it's not working. I'm refreshing. So I will be able to see. I think it's coming on that. Yeah. So if you're on Facebook now, I can see your chat. But if you're in one of the Facebook groups, I can't see your name. Um, okay, so tonight let me reach over here. I'm making a card like this. I'm going to use different paper. So um, it does lay flat. I also made an envelope. Please remind me to make the envelope for you. I have it all cut out. It's all ready. But there's been videos where, oh my gosh, I forgot to show them how to do the envelope. It's really easy. I've shown it before in other videos. But this does fold flat. Any way you want to do it, it will fold flat. Um, this one is nine inches. So the story behind this card is I was, and now I started thinking, I don't know if it was Monday night or Tuesday night, it was late. And Jill Jackson messaged me through Facebook and sent me a, a link to a video that was, it didn't work. And so then I just had to look it up. Um, to a card that was similar to this one. So this came, this was inspired by, um, there's a link in the description of the video, Mixed Up Craft. And then I started looking on YouTube and there are other pinwheel cards. They're a little different. I made mine different than um, the one on Pinned Up Crafts. So mine is also different. Mine is taller. Um, do we use both Pinwheel Project files? No, so um, I have a blank one that I made here, although I have added little squares so you can add to this one. So this one is ends up being six by seven when it's folded flat and just like the other one. Welcome, B Tweety G. Um, you can fold this one flat too. And I was thinking for this one, uh, so I made a square so you can put a mat on each one of these. I think this would be really cool to put pictures on there. Maybe uh, to write a note on this pink one or whatever color you choose. You can do them all the same color. You could do every little flap a different color if you wanted to. You could do a rainbow. There's so much you can do with this. I've already started making more of these with something different than just the butterflies. But I also want your opinion. So this one's nine feet, and I do have an envelope that fits it. Not nine feet, nine inches. And this one is six inches. Um, so what, and I also have a blank one of this I have not shared yet, but I will. So keep watching the pinwheel um, type on my website so you can see these. And we're going to make one with different paper. So we're making this one with different paper today. I do have to warn you. Uh, hi, Sheila Rogers. I do have to warn you to cut out the one color of butterflies. It takes an hour. I have, I don't know if you can see, all the butterflies are drawn. Now, you can make the butterflies all one color if you want to. Uh, I made one and each one a different color, so it's kind of, 
I don't know. Like I have it here on this one, and then the next one it goes down one, the next one it goes down another one, the next one down another. You can do it any way you want. You could put them all the way around so one color is the same. You can make like one color, they're all in the same spot, I mean, instead of like flowing like that. Uh, you could do every other one a different color. You could put words. So for mixed up crafts, she had word going down here. Uh, I think she had congratulations on one and then she made one that just said awesome. Um, but I don't know. I, I liked it with one side to have a little note and you can change that note to say whatever you want. That font is the free font in uh, Cricut. Is my mouth with my voice? Is the video working? I don't know. Should be. Okay. Um, let me show you where to get this. So you go to my website, Melody Lane Inspired. Could you make this on the Joy? The Joy doesn't have scoring. You could make some of it on the Joy, but the base piece you could not make on the Joy. Uh, yes, this card will cost extra to send. Okay. I'm just I just use regular cardstock. The gel pens work on cardstock. Okay, so if you are a supporter of mine for only two dollars through patreon.com slash melody lane, you can go to my website and click on supporter projects. But before we do that, we have to do this. Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this. Oh, no, you know what? I forgot to upload the correct shout outs. Hold on. Here's a shout out. All right, we're getting there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on Patreon. Beth Ann, Donna Marie, Paula, Darlene, Ginger, Joan, Erica, Kim, Grandma Sparkle, Purple Paisley Planner, Rindy, Connie, Tammy, Kathy, Bobby, Melissa, Amy, Bonita, Rita, Sue, Bonnie, Tammy, Lynn, Michelle, Marie, Patricia, Pamela, Joanne, Sharon, Debbie, Marianne, Stacy, Lynn, Angela, Becky, Sharon, Ken's Creations, Vivian, Donna, Marcina, Tammy, Deborah, Lori, Mouse Baby, Linda, Kimberly, and Bobby. And a huge thank you to my VIPs. Okay, and we're back. Um, so you go, if you support my channel for $2 or more, on YouTube, it's the one for $4.99 or more, you get a password. That password goes to right here to supporter projects. Do not click here on start here. This will show you a sample of my projects. This one for people that don't support, and this one will sh give you access to my projects. When you click that, it will ask for a password, but mine doesn't. But I wanna show you that it does, so I just refreshed it. <laughs> so you do not sign in to Melody Lane Inspired. There is no need to sign in, log in to this website. You do not need to do that unless you're leaving a comment somewhere. So to get the projects, logging in does not help. I'm sorry I'm repeating that, but I need to. Um, you click your four digit password that I gave you that I posted, wherever you support, you will see that. And I don't wanna save that because it changes every month. Okay, so now we're going to go to themes. I added this as a new theme. It is pinwheel cards. Now there's not very many there, but I'm working on some more and have some ideas for more. And if you have ideas, I want you to share them with me because these are fun and easy. And we all like that, right? So this is the one we're doing today. This is the one um, we just did and I showed it to you. Um, 
to get my projects, all you have to do is click open. And then it will pop up. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't yet. Let me, I didn't click the open. <laughs> click the open button. And then the one, it'll pop up like this. And it'll take a minute and it'll open up like that. But I already have this one set to the right size of the video. Uh, and you can customize it. I want to give you a little tip. And even if you don't have access to my projects, these little tips that I give in my videos will help you. So here's the card. There are 72 butterflies. Uh, these are the ones that are different colors. Um, oh, and I want to show you how to change the wording or font. I have the wording all over to the right. The reason is because the butterflies are on the left. But if you do not want it to say this, all you have to do is go down here and click detach, click on it, double click the font, and then you have this font up here. You can't fit a lot across unless you make it much smaller, but you can, you know, just change the words. You can change all the words if you want to start a new line. If you want to start all over, you just hit enter after you go and you want to change to the next line. You can change the font also. I just use the free font. This butterfly is free to cut right now. I don't know if it's always going to be free, but I know it's free right now. So even if you don't have access, you can cut this. And if you don't have access and you know you want to make this card later, go cut some butterflies. But let me warn you, it takes an hour to cut one mat of the butterflies. I want to let you know so you don't think this is quick. Uh, we're going to click make it and I'm going to show you how to save paper on the butterflies. And we're going to click on a mat. I did this all with regular Cricut cardstock and I did it all on a mat on my Maker 3. You can do it on an Explore. Oh, and see, remember, we detached this, so now it's not connected to that. If you forgot to attach it, all you have to do is click it there and then you're good. But, okay, the butterflies. There are that many butterflies on one mat. And then we have just four I, I wasn't going to take that. <laughs> I'm like, no, we can fit that four on this mat. Uh, one thing that helps fit more on is to move these. You do not have to do every single one. We only need four, four extras. So um, turning them a little, I don't know why they're at an angle, but you can even just move them up. A little at an angle but turning them a little this way I think I only even moved just three rows and I did not even bend them all like this or rotate them because I'm not bending and rotating um, then um, play with just these first three rows and then you can go over here and you can click the three dots, move the object, and then click on this one. Now it's going to go right up there to the top. Watch. So it's right up here to the top. It will have this on here. If you click somewhere else, though, you might lose that. Like, it would be right on top of that. You might forget it. Remember, they're exactly on the same spot that they were in the other mat. And I'm just going to bring it to the bottom. And then we're going to do it again. Now watch this one. It'll be right on top of the other one. See, you, if you click somewhere else, you're going to lose it. But just remember where it was and move it. There's a ghost playing with my microwave right now. And then we can uh, add one more, but we have another one. So we would just have to move these up a little. And you can just move this row a little bit. Play with that. And then you will save paper. You'll get it all done on one, but it took me an hour just to draw, 10 minutes to cut. Um, 
and then that's it then this is the base this is the only place you need a score wheel or a score stylus and then we just have these sheets okay so that's it uh, they do not stay the angle that we have them on the canvas no on the canvas they're all different angles watch i'm going to cancel see how they're all going the same way all of them they don't stay the way you put them on the canvas otherwise i would have them set up so see how they're all going different ways these are all grouped together also you can ungroup if you want if you wanted to change the color of one see if i click over here it's showing me it's this one i can click on that and change the color if you wanted to do that you would have to do that to all of well to be honest you could just do it to one and then duplicate this so i forgot how many of these we need six twelve uh, you need one for each of these you need actually two for each of these you need two because we're putting them on the front and back of each of these so each of these need two sets of the six and that's what these extra ones are the other sets chris allen i don't know why you don't get the three dots oh i may know why let me show you something uh mary lou you could do cricket sticker paper for the butterflies but I'll show you the reason I did it. Mary Lou, I also emailed you. I need uh, something fixed on your address. I don't know if you've gotten back to me already. I just wanted you to know I haven't checked my email lately, but uh, this morning I wanted to send you your Cricut Cutie, your prize you won, and they wouldn't accept your address. Okay. Um, I forget. Oh, what I was going to show you is you don't have that little thing there watch what happens if I hit continue and I think maybe that's where you're coming in at if I were to hit continue and get to this point and then go click over here I can even click on edit I don't get the little box either I can rotate but I can't move it so I'm thinking maybe you went too far um she's talking about the three dots here Right here, there are three dots in the corner. If you're watching from a phone or a small screen, you might have trouble seeing that. When you click on that, it has move object or hide selected. Okay, are we ready? You didn't get the email. I'll try to send it again too. It was a response email from the one you sent me the address on. Um, I'll message you on Patreon. Um, where are we going? We're going over here. Are we ready to get started? Yes, this is live right now. Dulce? No? I think is your name if you are in the chat in the live chat you are live okay so if you just joined us this is the card that we're making it stands up like a tower now this one i manipulated a bit um i wanted the inside of the card to have the pretty side of the paper um See, this is the other side of the paper. It's not ugly, but I wanted the flowers on the inside. And where I put the note, I thought it would be nice to have a more solid background area for the note. Um, so what I did, and I don't really know why I did that. <laughs> I cut out an extra one of these pieces. Here's the pieces with the butterfly. And I mirrored it so I could stick this on the back of it too. Is that? Yeah. No, that's not what I did. Oh, I remember now. I stuck it on the back of this one. It's hard to tell. Like I even tried to go in 
later on the one that I test cut. This was my test cut. And I couldn't find where I started or where I ended. So this was my test cut just to see if it worked and it worked good. So then I'm like, I gotta make a pretty one now. Um, where's the, okay, this is what I wanted. So this one would have had this pink paper here, like, um, like this does but it wouldn't show any of the pretty flower paper. So I, I thought, well, I could put one on the other side of this. So this one is doubled. Uh, like I said, I just duplicated one of these and then I flipped it so then I could glue it to that. And I don't know what this one's gonna look like. This is the one we're doing today. And then this is also, this is a blank one that I made. And I think this has so many possibilities. I also have a blank one that is the nine inches. So it's like this, it's just taller. Let me know um, if you guys want that. Do you guys, what size do you guys like best? I like this to show more here, but I don't really have a lot to say, but it would be pretty with pictures or images or different things. Um, but then I kind of like this one is like so substantial, you know, sitting on someone's desk. I just think it's so pretty. Yes, it's all cardstock, not paper. It's all cardstock. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we can do that last. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to put all the butterflies on first before I glue them on, and I didn't, and I'm glad I didn't. So uh, Mary Lou, you asked about using Cricut sticker paper for the butterflies. You could, and it would cut out a lot faster. The reason I didn't, well, and I think you could have anyway. <laughs> I tried to bend these, but when you flatten it, they go flat anyway. So if you cut it out with sticker paper, on one of the three machines, you're going to get a lot done a lot faster. But I think these are really pretty if you bend them out a little. So I just glued the center down. But if you're going to send it to someone, they're, it's all going to be flat anyway. So I think it's really pretty with the butterflies bent. That was my plan. Boy, I didn't glue these all on very good. I was in a hurry trying to get it done so we could post it for you guys. See how pretty it is with the butterflies opened up more? Isn't that fun? Okay. First, these are all the same. So there's no difference in these pieces. There's five of these. And then we have this one that is scored. And we're gonna turn it over and I'm going to bend it on the score lines. Go across it. With I don't know where my bone folder went. So this is really easy to put together. The butterflies are time consuming. This one's really fast and easy. And that one, the blank one, you put together the exact same way I'm doing this one, except for you don't add the butterflies. <laughs> okay, we got one more score line. Make sure that's 
sure this is all straight. Okay. And I want to make sure it all is straight. Okay. So now what we do is we put glue on this piece here. Well, actually, first, just fold it in half. So you're going to fold it so the edge of this side is on this score line. So there's a score line right here. So you're going to fold it like this, and then we're going to put glue only on this last inch. This is an inch, and we're going to put it there. And then we're going to fold that over on top of the glue. Yes, this is Cricut cardstock. I don't know what um, paper this one is. Like, I don't know the name of it. Does anybody know in the chat? I can look before the video's over. I think I have it over there next to him, my paper. So I don't know if you can see that. See the glue? I put glue. And then I'm just going to fold this over on top of the glue. Oh yeah, you could put it on a turning display. It could be a stand. Okay, so this is the beginning of our hexagon. Now all we do is we take these and we glue one to each side of the hexagon. Okay? So to each side of a hexagon, we just glue it. That's it. So I'm going to put glue on the next one. Not all the way to the score lines. And then when we place this down, we want it just left of the score line. And I'm using art glitter glue today. So I'm going to put it just to the left of the score line and make sure it's even on the bottom. And it's not all the way to the score line, so I'm going to make sure it's all the way to the score line. You can tell. If you bend it like this, make sure that's glued in there well. So now we have the start. So now we're going to go to the next one. And I'm going to put this one, when it's like this, it's just left of the score line. So now we have three done and we have three more to do. So we're just going to go to the next inch between the score lines Jill you will have to watch the beginning of the video Okay, now the next inch. Because I have a tip on cutting the butterflies if you miss the beginning. And I have a tip on gluing the butterflies too. Okay, we just got one more.
Thank you for hitting the thumbs up, everyone. So now, if you were doing the blank hexagon card, and there's lots that are only four, that aren't six-sided, they're only four-sided. The square in the middle, let me know if you want some of those too. That's a great idea, Debbie. Okay, so now we're done. So if you were just doing the blank one like this without the butterflies, you're done unless you want to add, and I do have in the file, squares that you can put in here so you can put a note or a sentiment. You could put a sentiment on each one of these if you wanted to. Or uh, I think Janice said she is going to cover some of them with floral um, vinyl. Pattern vinyl would be pretty. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and put it, it doesn't matter which one you put it on because they're all kind of the same. So it just doesn't matter. You can pick whichever one you want. I kind of want to go over the edge of this one. Let me grab a marker. What do I got? Olive green. So I'm just going to give it a little color. I just think it looks nicer. Can you guys tell the difference? Now there's extra room at the bottom. If you don't want that extra room, you can detach and move it. Um, but I left room so you can sign it or write a little hand draw note if you wanted to or you can have the cricket even um, sign your name now you guys this is so easy I'm going to put glue on this. The butterflies are even easy, just time consuming. And then I'm going to put this down like that. And you don't have to use white paper on here. You can use any color you want, any marker you want. I use this marker. See, it's kind of a thick marker. It's a Cricut Sour Apple Medium Tip One Point. It's like a marker. I don't know if they make these anymore. I don't know if they make the regular markers anymore. They have the one point, but they're more like the gel pens and they're not like marker type. And I think I, if they don't, I know why, because sometimes the markers, uh, if I had it give more pressure, it pushed too hard. And then these got really fat and it started not working as well. So maybe they've changed it from that, but I like this one. So that's it. Now, you have options. You can add this sentiment, or a different sentiment, but this white paper, just duplicate it. Add whatever you wanna add. You can add sentiments here, or you can have it just right on top of these. You can attach writing right on top of these. Um, you can use just plain paper like this one, and you can have it just right on these. Oh, I think I have this upside down because I had it this way. Uh, but you can have it just right on each paper. A little note. Maybe put a little note with a little Cricut Cutie at the bottom or a Cricut Cutie at the top, you know, because we all love our cuties. But if you're sending it to a non-crafter, maybe uh, you're making it for a guy and you put his little favorite car on here or his football team or put a football or baseball or, you know, put whatever they like. Or you can just put like a football here or, you know, 
it's it's unlimited possibilities okay um you can you you can fill these up with anything you want but that's why i use pattern paper because uh i only started working on these yesterday so i was just working on getting my butterflies and then I started another one also. And then I thought, well, I need to make some blank ones. So I did that too. Okay, so now it's time for the butterflies. I ripped my paper here. I think I had glue on my paper or something. And that ripped. But we won't see that. Okay. So for the butterflies that are smaller amount, so I have a smaller amount of these than I do of these. Um... I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna put all of these on first. And what I did is I went and put one here of this color, then here, then in the next one, it went down one. Or do we wanna, I think I kinda of want it all in the same place. Should we do the same place or have it cascade? So on this one, you guys have to put it in the, in the chat, cascade or same. Um, so this one, I have it, um, well, that's where it starts. I have it kind of cascading down for the butterflies. So they're all different, and then it goes down to the bottom one. Or do we want them to see what it looks like since I've already done this one, do we wanna put it all like in one spot? Okay, we have a few cascade, a few same, more cascades. Okay, so I'll show you how, it's it's not more difficult, but maybe watching me do the cascade will help you more. Okay, we'll do the cascade. We got more of those. Okay, um, was, oh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start at the top of this one and what I started doing was putting the glue on the butterflies. Now, when you put the butterflies on, you'll know which way to put them because of the antennas here. So I just put glue in the center. And now that we have a pink one there, I wanna put a pink one on the other side. And I like it better with the butterflies bent, but like I said, if you're gonna put it in an envelope, they're not gonna stay bent up. All of you guys that want the same are too late. If you wanted the same, you would just go ahead and do all of these colors all in one area. So then the next one we're going to put here. And I found it faster to put the glue here, but not really when doing this color. I'll show you when I do the other color, how it makes it faster. So then I'm just going to go to the next page and put it right on the back of that same one. Now we're going to go to the next one down. And you can start this wherever you want it to start. I'm gonna go ahead and bend these. And then we'll just turn our page and then do it on the back of that same one we did. Oh yeah, you can use tape runners. I had to read what you guys were talking about. Oh, and then the next one. Um, I like using glue because then I can maneuver it around before it's dry. 
This is the slow part of putting the butterflies on. When we get to the all one color, it's faster. But I highly suggest you do the smaller amount first. Otherwise you get lost on where you were gonna put them. Or I would get lost on where I was gonna put them. Um, these butterflies did cut out. I did not try to even cut them. I was not gonna mess. See, I turned all the cut to draw. If you would like to change those cut lines or the draw lines back to cut, feel free to do that. Let me know how it goes because there are some tiny, tiny holes and I'm like, I'm not gonna deal with 72 butterflies and those little holes <laughs> because then you gotta kinda sometimes weed those little holes out. Okay, I made a mistake somewhere. No, I didn't. Oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm like, I have too many butterflies left. But no, I forgot I have to do one here to the back. And it would be faster to do these on smart cardstock if you had the one of the three machines. So now we're doing our last one at the bottom. Yes, you could select the entire project and make it smaller. This one is six inches. I will also have, well, I do have blank ones. See, this one is six inches. And if you unlock the lock and go to edit and change that six to a seven, you have it one inch bigger. You can change it to an eight. You can change it to a 10. You can change it to an 11. Oh yeah, you could do vinyl with the butterflies. Okay, so now we have all the pink ones and they're cascading down as it turns. I like this, the colors of these butterflies. These, they kind of blend in a lot. I wrote with the orange pen, and then it also writes with the black pen for that little line in between them. But I, I'm excited to see what the butterflies look on this paper. So we got purple butterflies. Uh, there's no really reason to do print and cut on the butterflies. You could do solid butterflies. So to make this go easier, something I wish I would have thought about at the beginning of my project, I'm putting glue on all these butterflies. Now I know where to put the glue because I can see at least one antenna on all of these. So I'm putting glue just under the one antenna. That's the only place I am gluing. So I am now going to just place the butterflies on the glue. And remember, I have an envelope that will fit this card and I want to make that for you. So don't let me quit without making the envelope. It's right here cut. Because once we get the butterflies on, we're done. And I know where to place these because I'm looking at the antennas looking at the antennas that are cut out on the card. Oh, it's so pretty. I think we're kind of blurry. Are we blurry? Let me try to fix that if I can. Um, blurry. Is that good? Is that better? Okay, so now we're going to turn the page and we're going to add more butterflies, more glue. 
Now remember, you can do put things on all of these. I thought about doing one that just has like believe and gratitude and um, you can do it or, you know, some positive affirmations. Something like that. Oh, I only put glue on the one side, didn't I? If you put a little glue glob, it doesn't dry so quickly, so you can do all of them, all 10, putting glue down at the same time. I just forgot. Yes, holographic would be beautiful. You know what would be pretty is if you did the base in black and did holographic and then put something on each one so it wasn't just solid black. But the holographic would be really pretty on black. Man, now I want to make that. Yes, this is Cricut um, Designer. What do they call it? It's the Cricut cardstock. The pattern cardstock is all double sided. Okay, now we got to do the glue. And the glue doesn't have to be perfect. If you're um, subscribed or if you're watching this later make sure you subscribe and click that bell so you get notification when I go live I do have a link in my description of my email list so I posted on Facebook if you guys uh, wanted to join my email list so you know when the mystery boxes come out everybody was saying yes but I don't know if they actually joined I went back in and added a link to most of those posts so you can click on it to join. I can't add you to the email list. You have to click on it and accept it. That's how uh, email lists are. They don't like it when you just add people because um, some people just add people that don't want to be added. Oh, and remember the flash sale. Cricut just shared my code. And so you guys know my code is changing very soon. It could change tomorrow, although my Melody Lane code will work until the end of the month. We're just waiting for them to change it. It's going to be a really cute one. Um, OK, so now we're going to I got glue on my pinky, add glue to all of these. This is kind of relaxing. it's molly welcome if you go to the youtube community you will see the post for this and it will have the password to get them from my website and all the information <laughs> jamie says she already hit that sale pretty hard
Yeah, but I feel like the focus keeps changing. It's not supposed to be changing. Let me see if I can fix that focus. Hold on. Oh, wait. Okay. Now focus. I don't know if that's any better. Okay. We still got lots of butterflies. You guys, um, if you guys are watching the replay, read the live chat too. We also come to my videos about a half hour early in chat. I think it's nice to feel like we get to know each other. Cece just asked how long I've been crafting. I'm going to sneeze. I've been sneezing my whole life. <laughs> uh, I started crafting. I'm going to say I started Cricut crafting in 2011. I never did paper crafting before, except for when I was a kid. And I'm not going to count that. I was a Girl Scout. So we did some crafts. That was my favorite part of being a Girl Scout was the crafting and making things and things like that. But as an adult, I think about 2009, I started sewing because I had a dog and I wanted her to wear dresses. And I didn't want to buy all the dresses. I wanted to make them. I went to Walmart, I'm like, I could make this. I never sewed in my life, so I bought a needle and thread. And I, tr I sewed it, I did it, but then I'm like, oh, I'm not doing this again. I need a sewing machine. So I went to Walmart and bought a cheap sewing machine. Then I took sewing classes at Joann's. And then I bought a more expensive sewing machine. Not much more. It was only $400. And for sewing machines, that's kind of cheap. But it worked good, and it did embroidery, and I liked it. And then I started quilting. That's where I led into the cutie, or the cricket. Because I wanted, there was a die cutting machine for a fabric that I couldn't afford. It was $400, which was the cost of the crickets when they came out, but I couldn't afford it. And, um... So I told the manager at Joann's, you know, if this machine were to ever go on sale, I would like to do it because I really like quilting. I wasn't doing videos and I wanted to put shapes on the quilts and stuff. And she told me about this Cricut machine and it was on clearance for $59. And it was the small six inch one. And I thought, oh, I can do that. And then I had to buy a few cartridges that were also on sale for $35. The cartridges used to be $89. There was no way I could afford that. Oh, I already have glue on these. So then I had to look up videos on how to use my Cricut. And I found paper crafting. My Pink Stamper and Elizabeth, um, oh, Megan Elizabeth were the people I watched to learn how to make cards. Back in the day. And that's where I learned. And I thought, oh, I want to make videos because when I made cards, who nobody cared. My friends and family and people, they're like, oh, that's nice. They just didn't care. But when I shared them online, people loved them. So then I thought, well, I got to make some videos. Okay, now here's this one. And I do think it's prettier when the butterflies are bent up a bit. Uh, Mary Ford, yes. Maymay and I 
are doing the joy of Christmas every Saturday night in July. We're not in the same video. We're just each doing them on our own channels. So we did one last week, so you can uh, go see that. I have a playlist on my channel with both mine and May May's videos. And then we'll have another one. I got to record that one. I might record that after this one tonight. You could do it where just the pink ones or whatever color you have are out. So it'll fold flat like this. And I gotta make the envelope. And you can have it fold flat anywhere you want it to. Oh, this see, this one got folded way back. <laughs> okay, are we ready for the envelope? But it's just so pretty to look at. And you could put some nice words in here, like one word going down. Um, I don't know, be kind or something, you know. Or you don't have to. And you just have it sitting up like this, which you guys are sideways, so it looks like this. And then here's the other one if you just joined us late. I kind of like the purple and pink flowers. I love this. This is beautiful too. I love this paper. This is my favorite paper. Okay, the envelope is huge because the cards are huge. The envelope is in three pieces. It's the only way you can do it. These are two different mats. Um, I have to think which one is the top and the bottom. This is the, okay. I, I'm, yeah, okay, I got it. <laughs> now let me share with you. So the bottom is angled in here, and the top of the sides are angled down a little. So we know this is the top and this is the bottom. If you missed it, mixed it up, I don't, I think it'd still work. Um, so there's score lines here, so I'm going to fold it on the score lines. And I'm just using regular Cricut card stock and then score lines here. I have no idea how much this will cost you to send. I know it will require more than probably two, three, four stamps. I don't know. And this one, I'm, I'm not going to fold that one yet. Okay. So I'm going to glue this piece. Out of the way. So I just flipped it upside down. No, I didn't. This is the top and this is the bottom. But I flipped it over and I'm going to glue this piece onto this flap. So we're going to put glue on this flap and I'm going to put this down on that flap. But I think. You know what? I'm going to do it this way, I think. Or do I want it this way? I 
feel like it'll be safer in the mail with this tucked under this flap here. That's what I'm thinking of. So I'm going to keep it just how I folded it and then put glue down here. Make sure you get it all the way at the bottom and the sides really good. And then I'm turning this upside down. And we're going to glue this to the score line and have it even on both sides. So then when we fold this up, it'll go like that. And press that glue really good so that stays nice. So now we have a piece that looks like this. So this, this piece was glued to the bottom flap. So now we're going to push these pieces in and we're going to glue this to these pieces. So I'm going to put glue on the edge of this bottom piece down here on both sides. And make sure it's solid. You don't want to do dots or anything. You want to make sure that it's a solid glue from top to bottom. And then we're going to fold those sides in. Now, there we go. And I did not f glue this all the way to the very edge. Can you guys see that? See that little space there? This one is more to the edge. But the reason I did that is so it, it has more room in there. Do you see how it's not like so flat, flat? I let this stay lifted up just a little bit on the one side. So it would have a little, little extra room there. Okay. Oh, we should have glued this on before we glued that part up, I think. Now this piece, this piece you can glue, it's better if you glue it before you do this part, and stick to the score line, it has the score line here, glue that score line To the other score line like this and then glue this over I think you can do this two ways I think the way I usually do it is glue this like this this one piece doesn't go all the way to the end I might have to make that bigger I'll fix that in the file to go all the way to the edge it should be going all the way to the edge but you can have it so it's pretty inside so when they open it and then glue that down so I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna stick this in here like that and then I'm gonna put glue on this piece I'm probably making it harder than it is. Make sure that glue is on there good. So now you have the envelope. So now, I think I put it in like this. You gotta watch these edges with the butterflies. And get those in there. in the envelope 
Okay, this is hard to get in. Oh, that's why. I'm going to bend this back because we also have to get those in. So you just have to work it to get in. Okay, all the back ones are doing good. There we go. I made the envelope bigger than the card. But it doesn't seem to want to be bigger than the card now. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, then you could put some glue here and glue that down. Then you have an envelope. Oh, you know what might make it easier too? Is just to put a piece of paper. Come on out. Oh, I was tearing that out too. Okay, there. Maybe put a piece of paper over this, like maybe even tissue paper or wrap it in tissue paper, and then you won't have the problem with the butterflies sticking up. Some, maybe just some copy paper or tissue paper. Oh, an acetate envelope would be pretty with this. But tissue paper or something over it, or even a piece of acetate over it, just to get it in the envelope, you won't have to worry about all of those butterflies. Yeah, I could make it a little bit bigger. I can do that right now. I made it bigger. Like, I thought it was going to be too big. <laughs> okay. Um, let me put the lid on the glue. Do you guys want to see me fix the envelope? Um, Here's a shout out to a few of the sorry. people who support. Okay, we're going to cancel. Can you measure the envelope? Yeah. So the envelope is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a little over nine inches. It's like this line right here is nine. So it's like a nine in, um, nine and an eighth. So it is wider than it, but because it's thick, um, let's hit cancel. So we're going to go to my projects. And we have the envelope nine by seven and a half. We're going to customize it. Replace. <laughs> uh, so this piece, I don't, oh, see, this is nine inches. Um, we're going to unlock this. I'm going to make this, well, I'm going to make it a little wider than we want it anyway, because we wanted it a little wider. Okay, so I have this block here. Um inside the envelope. Let me bring it to the front. I'm going to show you how I, because I took this just from another 
envelope I had and I just made it wider. Okay, so this is the size of the card. Oh, I made it exactly nine inches. It's actually bigger though. Yeah, see, if you zoom back in here, uh, this piece, this black piece is nine inches. So the envelope goes to this score line right here. So it's actually bigger than the nine. So I thought I was making it a little bigger. I'm gonna move that out of the way for now. Um, so I want this to be wider this way. So what I'm gonna do is unlock this lock and I'm just going to pull it to the right a little. Now this is the size of the card, just one sheet though. It's not that full like the card is. So I, I think, I don't know, I'll make it a little wider. I'd rather have it a little too big and have it easier to put in. I'll also pull it down a little. So now this box is the size of the card and inside these score lines are where the card would go. So there is plenty of room, I think, all the way around, if we put it into the corner, we have this extra room here and this extra at the bottom. So I think that's good. Uh, and then we have to make this fit be the same. And then this piece has to be the same width. I'm gonna move that up to unlock that. And I'm lining this up with this score line here and I'm gonna drag it just past that score line a little bit. I'll make it a little wider. Because with that being just a little wider, that will help give it also a little extra room. Okay, so now I'm going to hide the square because when you make the envelope, you don't need that square. So then there is the envelope. It's a little bit wider now. And I'm going to save this. So this is the project that is in my files. So once I save that, when you go and get it, it will be this bigger size. You could glue the green inside and you could cut that strip off. I don't see, I remember doing envelopes without that strip, so I'm not sure why that strip is there. You could um, just cut that off there if you wanted to. Um, and then just glue this inside. I think what I had that there for is extra protection because when you do fold that down, it does give extra protection instead of just a piece being glued and then you kind of have a seam here that if we're it were to get ripped or wet or something that glue could possibly come apart maybe so i think this is for that extra protection i don't remember how long ago i made the actual envelope Yeah, it, it makes it more sturdy going through the mail. Okay, are we good? Um, I'm gonna make one with hearts on it. I think the one with hearts I was making shorter Maybe the six inch size, I think. I started it already. And then I'm gonna make one of the graduation caps. And because I thought this would be so nice for graduation, because on here, like you could put, you did it. Congratulations. Way to go. And then, you know, other things that you say to graduates. Oh, I was gonna put the year. Maybe the year of the graduation. You know, things like that. And then you can have a sign that maybe you sign or, you know, that type of thing. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be cool. 
let me know if you want more um, different kinds of like the butterflies. Here's the blank one, which I think this would be great for pictures or, you know, just like a fun card. All right, guys. Mary Ford says, remember, sturdier is better. USPS handles a lot of mail and may not give it attention to expect the attention you expect after all your hard work. That is so true. Uh, they don't even handle a lot of the mail. It goes through machines and the machines just don't care. Yes, one for Christmas too. I also thought about snowflakes. Wouldn't that be pretty with snowflakes? So I want to do snowflakes and um, I don't, maybe Chris, maybe I, I don't know. I guess I'm thinking to do about the Christmas tree. I think I can make it look like a Christmas tree down each one. I think I can. I just, that just popped into my head. That would be neat. There's so much you can do. I just love these. So thanks for asking for this file for Design Space. <laughs> Shirley Bain is sitting here nodding at me. I can see you, Shirley. With lights on the tree, yeah. Oh yeah, Mallory, you could do different things on each side. Oh, do something for a baby. <gasps> yeah. You could do something for a baby and you could put um, their birth date on one, their weight on one. Um maybe their mom and dad's name or something or their name, you know, with their middle name. That would be cool. Oops. Or knocking things over. You could do one of these with the baby, with the baby picture or the ultrasound or something. And you could, so these bigger ones are the ones that you make to decorate, but the other side, you could put information over here also. Especially if you do a picture here, you could put information over here about what's in the picture. You don't just have to do the one side. You could do both sides that you see in one area. Oh, yeah, and there's the banner we did Tuesday, if you didn't see it up. Oh, yeah, the length and the time of birth and all that. These would be great for birth announcements. Yeah, or invitations to sit on the desk. So I want to see what you guys make with these. And when you're using my file, make sure to add hashtag Melody Lane Inspired. It's all one word. Uh, because then you get entered to win $25. Every Wednesday, I give away $25. Yeah, Janice, it could be a mini scrapbook. You could have like pictures on one side and then the other things on this side. Like say you're doing a little scrapbook of a football game or something. Maybe they were in the little Super Bowl. You know, kids, they have some kind of thing like that. Or their baseball thing. Where you could have pictures here and then you could have like um, a baseball and a bat images that you put on from Design Space or Number One or We Won, you know, something on the smaller side for each picture. Yeah, there, there's, there's so much that we can do. So if you want me to make more, um, give me some ideas and I will try to make them. Maybe we'll make some on Tuesday. Do you guys want me to make some for Tuesday? at noon these are just fun just to it's like a what are those things fidget spinners if you're fidgety Whew. 
Creative Blessing says she always forgets to post the hashtag. You can post old ones that you used of my projects. Post the hashtag. They don't have to be just what you make now. You can post older ones if you want. Yeah, baby, baby arrival announcements. That, that, that would be awesome. And, you know, you can make fancy frames to go around here or here or anything. Yes, you can put, do cuties. Christmas boxes. Yeah, it's like a slinky. Angel wings. Yes, you could do a, mem a memorial um, for somebody and put some pictures for somebody. And, uh, oh, Jill says, which patrons want to Zoom together for this card? Um, so all of my supporters, I have a Zoom. I think it, there hasn't been one posted in July, but you can go back to the June one and click on that. And if you support just for one dollar or more on my channel, you can go into that Zoom and craft with other people. Uh, I, I'm thinking about doing one of these for our monthly crop. So do you guys want me to do this for the monthly crop? Um, we have a monthly crop where the last Tuesday of the month, we all Zoom together and do it in there too. And we have games and prizes. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I had fun. I hope you had fun. Uh, I can't wait to see what you guys make with these. And... Um, I will make more. Tomorrow I have to work on my project for Saturday night. Okay, Shirley and Jill are gonna do it right after this video. Yes for the crop, okay. I'll try to make a new one just for the crop too. Oh, make one for a wedding. Different color paw prints. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm just sitting here reading the chat. You guys have a super night, too. Um, I will try to talk about engraving and show you how to engrave on Saturday. Saturday we're having question and answer in design space class. So I can, um, I do have videos on engraving. And I have a project that I did on engraving like you're doing that you messaged me earlier. Oh yeah, thank you cards. Oh, cats would be fun. You could put a cat on each side. All right. Bye, guys.